the Philippine Saints. I'm Marlon Valencia from the Philippines. The school of the school of Revelation, the book of Revelation, is really mind blowing. It really helped me a lot, especially uh, what the Lord is telling me every time I would uh, ascend, doing every time I would pray and ascend. The Lord is confirming at the same time. The Lord explain it even more through the band servant, Pastor John Anasipe. And it made me more uh, really go, want to go deeper, more especially to uh, evaluate my life, especially what the Lord is always convicting me to live a holy life and above all to always seek the purpose of God for my life. And I'm excited even more, even tomorrow, even uh, for the rest of the days until Sunday. I cannot wait what the Lord has in store for me and for His purpose for my life to be really prevail. That's all, that's all I want, that to please the Lord above all else, to pursue Him, to love Him, and to really uh, seek the mysteries of God and to really know the season, the time, and the, the events that will take place, the past, the present, and the future. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I'm humbled and I'm so blessed that I'm here physically present, being imparted by the band servant, Pastor John and City. Thank you. My name is Ben Scaff from Northern Cape. Uh, I attended a Bible study of Revelation, the book of Revelation. What I learned uh, from Papa John, sometimes we read the scripture, but we don't understand. So we get deeper revelation about who Jesus is. And uh, the most important thing that was outstanding is the day of the Lord. Sometimes we stick just on salvation, but we don't know the, the meaning of the day of the Lord. God is in many forms, he's a lamb, he's a lion, and there's a other side, the fierce side of him that we don't know. So Papa is just giving us a revelation of the others that we don't know. So I'm so blessed and I'm glad to be here. And I, it's deep revelation that we need to our spiritual eyes and of understanding the Opa. What an amazing day. I mean, we've been here all day, but and we don't even feel it. The time literally went by flying. Uh, the book of Revelations was, wow, was so revealing, so much, so much. Uh, where do we start? You know, uh, today was about the love of God, going back to where you lost him, where you actually left him behind. You think that you're moving forward in the, in the spirit kingdom, but you actually, God left you somewhere. And that's why you feel like you're struggling in life and you're not getting anywhere because you left him behind somewhere. My God, and then I realized, you know, um, the true love of God, the true love of God, and you seek His face, you seek His face, stop praying for the other things that, that come when you seek the, the face of God. Stop praying for those things. Pray to seek God's face first and everything else comes. And it's just like, oh my God, it's just, I mean, we know this, right? But of course, He just, he just explains and breaks it down so well. And then yesterday, the, when, when John saw God of who you know, I, I am, I was, and is to be, when God saw who he was, he died, he died. It was like, he's like, oh, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, because he knew who he was. He was, you know, Jesus of Nazareth, but he didn't know who he was, and yet who's who he's going to be. And that's like, I was dialoguing this with one of, another saint earlier this morning and she, she brought it to my, you know, to my remembrance of how this is exactly what happens when people that are with us, they know, oh, they're like, oh, Jesus of Nazareth, he can't, be, he can't do nothing. But those that didn't go through, like, you know, in our everyday life, people that know us from last year think that they know us but they haven't seen us go through the wilderness. This time that we're here, we're going through the wilderness. We're growing into other levels, into other dimensions. Ooh, into other, other dimensions. And so 
they, when we go back to that city or state or our family, they still see us with the vision of the person that we were, but not of who we are and we are to be. And wow, that was a revelation in itself. That is a revelation in itself. There's so much, there's so much. I could stay here all day. And then now with the Trinity of Satan, of how there's three different dimensions where he habitates, you know, in the, in the air, in the earth, and in the sea. And I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. Because you know what I love about Papa the most? Is that he gives you the weapons. He gives you the tools. He tells you what to do if you're in this situation. You know? I mean, it's not, they don't just read you the letter, but now you, you know what to do. Okay? And even even you have a dream, what do you do? You're going to fasting. Blah, blah, blah. You have to get, the, you have to get the, the Bible study. I'm not going to give it to you. You need to find it. You need to go and buy this, buy the study and listen to it yourself. Because I don't want to spoil it. It's fantastic. Blessings, praise to you. Praise God. Papa, thank you so much. All glory to the King, to my God that brought me here. And I love you. Love my family. I love um, SRE. You guys always make me feel like I'm at home. And I feel like I'm a total at the house. And I definitely, definitely have a space for you guys in my heart. I bless you.